Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Tim, the truck's Daisy, and we're hauling paws. We transport RVs, campers, all over this wonderful country of ours, and they pay us for it. It's amazing. Today I've got a little bit different kind of video. Today I've got something that's sure to brighten up your day. Stay tuned. Okay, so we drive our trucks all over this country and we put a lot of miles on them. When we get them home, we like to do a little bit of maintenance, maybe change the oil, rotate the tires, do all the work that these trucks need. So you get it into the shop and now you're dealing with flashlights and crappy incandescent lights and things like that. I've got something today that's really gonna change your entire shop experience. So let me Flip the switches here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Bam! I'm talking about these. These are the Barina LED tube, I guess you would call them, strip lights, whatever you want to call them, and they're fantastic. Now, I don't do reviews for things that I just took out of the package and then I plug them in and it says, oh, it's really bright, this is gonna be great. That's not what kind of review this is. I don't do those, I don't believe in those. I only believe in reviews where the person has used it for a while and can actually provide some insight. So these lights have been in this garage since my son and I built this garage. We had a fire, burnt down our other garage, so my son and I built this garage and we installed these lights several years ago. It's probably been four years, maybe five, that these have been up and working. So I, can, I feel that I can offer some actual good insight on these lights. Now, none of them have failed. I live in a northern climate where we see everything from negative 20 to 90 degrees, the temperature changes and things like that, these have never quit. The lights are just awesome. They link together, they come in sections and you put them up one at a time so you go click, click, click and they all just kind of snap together and I'm gonna show you how they all go together. Well, right now, let's go do it. So this is how they come. They're in a section like this. They have an aluminum back here and they have the little prongs right there that connect them together. Now you put a little plastic connector in here and then you shove them up and they just connect end to end. They're super light. There's nothing really to them, but they're super, they're super light so you can just put them up there with one hand and they're really easy to do. Let's look at how they are actually connected to the ceiling. So this is all that connects them. You take this little metal tab put a screw in the middle of it and you screw it up. You can see my blue chalk line because I snapped a blue chalk line across all the, the uh, roof rafters to make them straight. That's actually the most challenging part is to get them straight going down through the rafters. But you just put those little clips up and then they're ready to go up. So then when you install them, you just take them, put them into the little clips twist them and they snap in and then you just line them up end to end down here and push them together and they turn on and then they just wire into your normal wiring circuit or they do come with a uh, plug end that has a, a regular plug into it and you can plug it into a standard socket that you have up in your ceiling now I have about 30 feet of lights up in here and then I have extended them into my wood shop and I have another 20 feet of them in here. Now you can connect a ton of these together end to end and make them just about as long as you want. They pull almost no power. I have all of these wired into one breaker. They don't hardly pull any power at all. 
so you can run them and not worry about your electric bill on them because they just don't take a whole lot of power. You don't have to put them in an entire string. You, they come with enough plugs and connectors and all that stuff to just do one at a time. In my other garage where I don't do uh, work on cars and things like that, it's just basically for storing stuff and putting uh, other cars in, I have just one strip in each location where I used to have the big fluorescent fixtures where it has like three fluorescent bulbs in it or four fluorescent bulbs in it. I just put one of these in each one of those locations. They're kind of spaced out about five feet apart and they kick enough light in that garage to, to see all the stuff that you need to see in there. Now I have these wired a little bit um, differently. You don't turn them all, I, I don't have to turn them all on. I can just run the outside banks and that's how I usually run it. So I can see the sides of each of the vehicle. You can turn on all of them obviously if you need to see under the hood or whatever. And I also have it wired so that it's just the center bank. If I just want a little bit of light in here, maybe in the night when I'm just trying to get something out of the garage or whatever, I can just turn on the center light. Now, one thing to note here, you can see I have a, get my finger in the right place, I have a garage door opener there. These are LED lights and the LED strip runs right over top of my garage door opener. LED lights, they, put out an interference kind of a frequency that will screw with electronic devices. So when that center bank is on, my garage door opener won't work with the remote. You have to pretty much be standing under it for it to work, but from the house, it won't work. From inside the vehicle, it won't work. If that center bank is off, then it works fine. The ones that are on the outside, don't mess with it, but the one that runs right over the top, messes with that garage, uh, uh, the garage door opener there. When I bought this particular garage door opener, it actually had in the instructions not to put an LED light in the little, uh, the little, whatever you call that light that's in there, that work light or the, the light that comes on when you open the garage door. They said, don't put an LED light in there because it will interfere with the RF signal from your remote. If you have a Wi-Fi garage door opener, it won't mess with that as bad. It's just the RF control for opening this garage uh, door opener. So that's the Barina lights. Now they are sold under multiple brand names, a little bit different style of diffuser on them, but they're sold all over Amazon and they basically do the same thing. Actually downstairs in my basement, I have a different brand. It's just shaped different. It's exactly the same. It came with the same plugs, the same connectors, and the base is the same. It's just the reflector or the, the diffuser is a little bit different shape. It's more bulb shaped than just kind of dome shape. But they work really good. They kick a ton of light. You can get a couple of different temperatures of the lights. I like in the shop, I like the, the cooler white, the white white, and not the yellow-ish. But if you wanted the the warmer white, you can get the warmer white ones. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description and down, uh, I'll pin it in the comments on where to get these. I really love them. I've used them for years. I've got them in the other garage. I've got them in the basement, put them in a camper, uh, put them in the storage area in the camper. And no, they don't work off battery power, but when you're plugged into shore power, they work great. So I, I guess I can't say enough about them. Uh, if you want light in your garage, affordable. These are not dirt cheap, but they are cheap. For as much light as they put out, you get them in packs of four, you can get them in packs of six, you can get them in packs of eight, you can get them in packs of 10. So you can get well, however you, many you want. I bought several sets and I put them everywhere and I just love them. So go grab yourself a whole bunch of these and wire up your garage and you'll have plenty of light to do whatever you want on your rigs and you'll thank me for it later. So I guess that's it. Have a brighter day, have safe travels, and I hope to see you on the road.